Hi everyone, this is Arnold again from my apartment in Newark, reading the next chapter in Winnie the Pooh. And here's Winnie to join me. Hello Winnie. Hello. This chapter is chapter 6, in which Eeyore has a birthday and gets two presents. Pretty good. Eeyore, the old gray donkey, stood by the side of the stream and looked at himself in the water. And here's Eeyore, looking at himself in the water. Pathetic, he said. That's what it is, pathetic. He turned and walked slowly down the stream for 20 yards, splashed across it, and walked slowly back to the other side. Then he looked at himself in the water again. As I thought, no better from this side, and nobody minds, nobody cares, pathetic, that's what it is. There's a crackling sound in the bracken behind him, and out came Pooh. Good morning, Eeyore, said Pooh. Good morning, Pooh Bear, said Eeyore, gloomily. If it is a good morning, which I doubt, said Eeyore. Why? What's the matter? Nothing, Pooh Bear, nothing. We can't all, and some of us don't. That's all there is to it. Can't all what, said Pooh, rubbing his nose. Katie, song and dance. Here we go round the mulberry bush. Oh, said Pooh. He thought for a long time, and then he asked, What mulberry bush is that? Mon homie, went on Eeyore gloomingly. French word meaning mon homie, he explained. I'm not complaining, but there it is. Pooh sat on a large stone and tried to think it out. It sounded to him like a riddle, and he was not very good at riddles, being a bear of very little brain. So he sang a cotton salt pie instead. Cotton salt pie, cotton still pie, a bird, a, a fly can't bird, and a bird can't fly. Ask me a riddle and I'll reply. Cotton still, cotton still, cotton still pie. That was the first verse. When he had finished it, Eeyore didn't actually say he didn't like it, so Pooh very kindly sang the second verse to him. Cotton still, cotton still, cotton still pie, a fish can't whistle and neither can I. Ask me a riddle and I'll reply. Cotton still, cotton still, cotton still pie. Eeyore still said nothing at all, so Pooh hummed the third verse to himself. Still cotton, still cotton, still pie. Why does a chicken? I don't know why. Ask me a riddle and I'll reply. Cotton, still cotton, still cotton, still pie. That's right, said Eeyore. Sing. Um, diddy, tildy, um, diddy, too. Here we go gathering nuts and may. Enjoy yourself. I am, said Pooh. Some can, said Eeyore. Here's Pooh and Eeyore talking, and here's the picture of Pooh sitting on the rock humming the cotton still pie song to himself. Why, what's the matter? said Pooh. Is anything the matter? You seem so sad, Eeyore. Sad? Why should I be sad? It's my birthday, the happiest day of the year. Your birthday, said Pooh, in great surprise. Of course it is. Can't you see? Look at all the presents I have had. He waved a foot from side to side. Look at the birthday cake, candles, and pink sugar. Pooh looked first to the right and then to the left. Presents, said Pooh. Birthday cake, said Pooh. Where? Can't you see them? No, 
know, said Pooh. Neither can I, said Eeyore. Joke, he explained. Ha, ha. Pooh scratched his head, being a little puzzled by all of this. But is it really your birthday? It is. Oh, wow. Many happy returns today, Eeyore. And many happy returns to you, Pooh Bear. But is it my birthday? No, it's mine. But you said many happy returns. Well, why not? You don't always want to be miserable on my birth. You don't want to be miserable on my birthday, do you? Oh, I see. It's bad enough, said Eeyore, almost breaking down. Being miserable myself, with no presents, no cake, no candles, no proper notice taken of me at all. But if everybody else is going to be miserable too? That was too much for Pooh. Stay there, he called to Eeyore as he turned and hurried back home as quickly as he could, for he felt that he must get P poor Eeyore a present of some sort at once, and all, and he could always think of a proper one afterwards. Outside his house, he found Piglet jump up and down, trying to reach the knocker. And there's Piglet jumping up and down outside of Eeyore's, uh, outside of Winnie the Pooh's house. But he can't reach the knocker, can he? It's a little too short for that. Hello, Piglet. Hello, Piglet, he said. Hello, Pooh, said Piglet. What are you trying to do? I was trying to reach the knocker, said Piglet. I just came round. Let me do it for you, said Pooh calmly. So he reached up and knocked at the door. I have just seen Eeyore, he began. And poor Eeyore is in a very sad condition because it's his birthday and nobody's taking notice of it. And he's very gloomy. And you know what Eeyore is? And there he was. And what a long time whoever lives here isn't answering the door. And he knocked again. But Pooh, said Piglet, it's your own house. Oh, said Pooh, so it is. Well, let's go in. Good thing he didn't wait too long for somebody to answer the door, since he was outside and there's nobody inside. So they went in. The first thing Pooh did was to go to the cupboard to see if he had quite a small jar of honey left. And he had, so he took it down. And there is Pooh with a small jar of honey. I'm giving this to Eeyore, he explained, as a present. What are you going to give? Couldn't I give it too, said Piglet, from both of us? No, said Pooh, that would not be a good plan. All right, then, I'll give him a balloon. I got one left for my party. I'll go and get it now, shall I? That, Piglet, is a very good idea. It's just what Eeyore wants to cheer him up. Nobody can be uncheered by a balloon. Piglet trotted, it, and in the other direction, Pooh went with his jar of honey. It was a warm day, and he had a long way to go. He hadn't gone more than halfway when he sort of had a funny feeling crept all over him. It began at the tip of his nose and trickled all the way through to the soles of his feet. It was just as if somebody inside of him was saying, Now, Pooh for a little something and there's Pooh with the little jar of honey that he was gonna bring to Eeyore for a present let's see what happens to it dear dear said Pooh I don't know what it was I didn't know it was late as that so he sat down and took the top off his jar of honey luckily I brought this with me he thought Many a bear going out on a warm day like this would never thought of bringing a little something with him. And he began to eat. Oh, no. Now let me see, he thought, and as he took his last lick inside the jar. Where was I going? Ah, yes, Eeyore. And he got up slowly. And then he remembered. He 
Eeyore's Eeyore, Eeyore, present. And there's Pooh with his nose in the jar. And the, oops. And there is Pooh who's eaten the whole jar of honey. Bother, said Pooh. What shall I do? I must give him something. For a while, he couldn't think of anything. And then he thought, well, it's a very nice pot, even if there's no honey in it. And if I washed it clean and got somebody to write a happy birthday on it, Yor could keep things in it which might be useful. So he was just passing the hundred-acre wood, and he went inside to call an owl who lived there. Good morning, owl, he said. Good morning, Pooh. Many happy returns of Eeyore's birthday, said Pooh. Oh, is that what it is? What are you giving him, Owl? What are you giving him, Pooh? I'm giving him a useful pot to keep things in. And I want to ask you, is this it? Said Owl, taking out of Pooh's paws. Yes, and I wanted to ask you. Somebody's been keeping honey in it, said Owl. You can keep anything in it, said Pooh, earnestly. It's very useful like that. And I wanted to ask you, you ought to write a happy birthday on it. That's what I want to ask you, said Pooh. Of course, my spelling is wobbly. It's a good spelling, but it wobbles, and the letters get in the wrong places. Would you write a happy birthday on it for me? It's a nice pot, said Owl, looking at it all around. Couldn't I give it to for both of us? No, said Pooh. That would not be a good plan. Now, I'll just wash it first, and you can write on it. Well, he washed the pot out and dried it, while Owl licked the end of his pencil and wondered how to spell birthday. Can you read, Pooh? He asked anxiously. There's a notice about knocking and ringing outside my door, which Christopher Robin wrote. Could you read it? Christopher Robin told me what it said. Then I could. Well, I'll tell you what this says, and then you'll be able to. So Owl wrote, and this is what he wrote. And here's Owl, and he's writing all these letters there that he says spells happy birthday, but you and I know that is not how you spell happy birthday. Pooh looked at it admirably. I'm just saying a happy birthday, said Owl carelessly. It's a nice long one, said Pooh, very much impressed by it. Well, actually, of course, I'm saying a very happy birthday with love from Pooh. Naturally, it takes a great deal of pencil to say a long thing like that. Oh, I see, said Pooh. While all this was happening, Piglet had gone back to his house to get Eeyore's balloon. He held on very tightly against himself so it shouldn't blow away, and he ran as fast as he could so to get it to, Eeyore, to get to Eeyore before Pooh did, for he thought that he would like to be the first one to give a present, just as he had thought of it without being told by anybody. And running along and thinking how pleased Eeyore would do, would be. He didn't look where he was going, and suddenly he put his foot in a rabbit hole and fell flat on his face. And there is Piglet running with the balloon, and there he fell, and look what happened to the balloon. All busted. Bang! Pure Piglet lay there, wondering what had happened. At first he thought the whole world had blown up, and then he thought that perhaps only the forest part of it had. And then he thought that perhaps only he had. And he was now alone in the moon or somewhere else and would never see Christopher Robin or Pooh or Eeyore again. And then he thought, well, even if I'm in the moon, I didn't need to be face down all the time. So he got up cautiously and looked around. He was still in the forest. 
Well, that's funny, he thought. I wonder what that bang was. I couldn't have made much, made such a noise just falling down. And where's my balloon? And what's that small piece of damp rag doing there? It was the balloon. Oh, dear, said Piglet. Oh, dear, oh, dearie, dearie, dear. Well, it's too late now. I can't go back, and I have another balloon, and perhaps Yor doesn't like balloons so very much. So he trotted on rather sadly now, and he came to the side of the stream where Eeyore was and called out to him. Good morning, Eeyore. Good morning, little piglet, said Eeyore. If it is a good morning, which I doubt, not that it matters, he said. Many happy returns of the day, said Piglet, having now gotten closer. Eeyore stopped looking at himself in the stream and turned to stare at Piglet. Just say that again, he said. Many hap Wait a moment. Balancing on three legs, he began to bring his fourth leg very cautiously to his ear. I did this yesterday, he explained as he fell down for the third time. It's quite easy. It's so I can hear better. There. That's done it. Now then, what were you saying? He pushed his ear forward with his huff. And there he is, on three legs, pushing his ear forward with his fourth leg. Any happy returns of the day, said Piglet. Meaning me? Of course, Eeyore. My birthday? Yes. Me having a real birthday? Yes, Eeyore, and I've brought you a present. Eeyore took down his right hoof from his right ear, turned around, and with great difficulty put up his left hoof. I must have that in the other ear now, then. A present, said Piglet very loud. Meaning me again? Yes. My birthday still? Of course, Eeyore. Me going to have a real birthday? Yes, Eeyore. I brought you a balloon. Balloon, said Eeyore. Did you say balloon? One of those big colored things you blow up? Gaiety, song and dance. Here we are. There we are. Yes, but I'm afraid. I'm very sorry, Eeyore, but when I was running along to bring it to you, I fell down. Dear, dear, how unlucky. You ran too fast, I expect. You didn't hurt yourself, little piglet. No, but I, oh, Eeyore, I burst the balloon. There was a very long silence. My balloon, said Eeyore at last. Piglet nodded. My birthday balloon. Yes, Eeyore, said Piglet, sniffling a little. Here it is, with many happy returns of the day. And he gave Eeyore a small piece of damp rag. Is this it, said Eeyore, a little surprised. Piglet nodded. And there is Piglet, giving Eeyore the busted balloon, or what they're calling the damp rag. The balloon? Yes. Thank you, Piglet, said Eeyore. You don't mind my asking, he went on. But what color was this balloon when it was a balloon? Red. I just wondered. Red, he muttered to himself. My favorite color. How big was it? About as big as me. I just wondered. About as big as Piglet, he said to himself very sadly. My favorite size. Well, well. Piglet felt very miserable. He didn't know what to say. He was just opening his mouth to begin to say something, and then decided it wasn't any good saying that. And he heard a shout from the other side of the river, and there was Pooh. 
Many happy returns to the day, called out Pooh, forgetting that he said that already. Thank you, Pooh. I'm having them, said Eeyore excitedly. Oh, I'm happy, said Eeyore gloomingly. I brought you a little present, said Pooh excitedly. I've had it, said Eeyore. Pooh had now splashed across the stream to Eeyore and Picklet and was sitting a little way off, his head in his paws, snuffling to himself. A very useful pot, said, Pick, said Pooh. Here it is, and it's got a very happy birthday with love from Pooh written on it. And that's what all that writing is. And it's for putting things in. There! And when Eeyore saw the pot, he became quite excited. Why? He said. I believe my balloon will just go into that pot. Oh, no, Eeyore, said Pooh. Balloons are much too big to go into pots. What you have to do with a balloon is you hold the balloon. Not mine, said Eeyore proudly. Look, Picklet. And as Picklet looked sorrowfully around, Eeyore picked up the balloon with his teeth and placed it carefully into the pot. Picked it out again and put it on the ground, then picked it up again and put it carefully in the pot. So it does, said Pooh. It goes in. Yes, it does, said Picklet, and it comes out. Doesn't it, said it goes in and out like anything. I'm very glad, said Pooh happily, that I thought of giving you a useful pot to put things in. And I'm very glad, said Piglet happily, that I thought of giving you something to put in a useful pot. But Eeyore wasn't listening. He was taking the balloon out and putting it back again, as happy as can be. And didn't I give him anything, asked Christopher Robin sadly. Of course you did, I said. You gave him, don't you remember, a little, a little. I gave him a box of paints to paint with, said Christopher Robin. That was it, said Winnie. The Pooh, why didn't I give it to him in the morning? He was so busy getting his party ready for him. He had a cake with icing on top and three candles his name in pig sugar, and yes, I remember, said Christopher Robin. And there is Pooh and Piglet walking away while Eeyore is busy taking the balloon and putting it in and out of the pot. And that is the end of chapter six, in which Eeyore has a birthday and has two presents. Talk to you all next week chapter of Winnie the Pooh. Have a great week, everybody.